The Paldea region is experiencing a massive hydration shortage, so I'm going to use these rules along with only using water type Pokemon to bring hydration back to the Paldea region and become champion. Ah, yes, good, a whooper. Yes, back in my day, I used to be a big whooper enjoyer. Now we can use it in this game as well. And what? What was that? Whoopers, whoopers, not a water type in this region? What are you talking about? Why would you do that? Why would you forego hydration? Why would you forego being properly quenched? I don't understand it. I simply can't understand why you do that to yourself, Wooper. Oh, and there's a bloody Psyduck over there, I suppose. Well, it is the first water type I've encountered on this route, so let's grab a Psyduck then. Welcome to the team, H2 boy. Ah, Pelipper, you're a smart child, although it does look like that Pelipper could gobble you whole. Not that a water type Pokemon would ever do anything nefarious, we're all superheroes. Now, I may be the world's most underwhelming superhero, but I am one nonetheless. Ah, a slab of water, is it? Surely there'll be some st strong demons here, some aquatic animals like an add to my ascending group of powerful individuals. What do you think, Karadon? Let's have a look and see. Oh. And I'm dead. <laughs> right on, you're pathetic. How can you be on Hydration Man's team and not be able to swim? What's wrong with you? And how can this water contain no water types? This does not make sense. Unless they're going extinct. That must be it. The neglect that the Paldeans are showing the water types is causing them to leave in droves. Well, crikey, there's only one man that can save all the water types of this region. It's me, Hydration Man. I know what I have to do. I have to defeat the champion. Show the Paldeans the error of their ways by becoming the strongest water type trainer and also the strongest trainer in the country, showing them how good water types really are. Then they'll never take a water type for granted anymore, and they'll all be incredibly hydrated. There's only one way to do that. Defeat all the gyms first. Oh, hey, hydration man! Oh no, it is my greatest rival, Melanoma. I know you, a secret agent from Nestle, seeking to stop me from seeing the beauty of natural water. She wants to remove all sources of water from the country, so that only Nestle bottled water is available. That they'll put microchips in or something. I don't know. We have to make the conspiracy th seem more convincing. Can't see this gym, huh? That can only mean one thing. Y'all tense some gym badge and take out the Pokemon League, aren't you? Yes, this is my goal, Pneumonia. And I will not be stopped. You may give me super potions, but don't be fooled. I can't read or um, use them in battles. No <laughs> items allowed during battles. So we have acquired the first gym test to take part in the olive roll. Now, you'd be surprised how much water is used in creation of olives. It's quite a lot. Those olives are thirsty, little buggers. Don't you worry, citizen. I know precisely how to roll an olive. I learned this little number from an episode of the Great British Bake Off. So you just need to fadangle it a bit. There you go. One of my many superpowers as Hydration Man is the ability to roll olives incredibly well. I have a long list of incredibly specific superpowers that you wouldn't have thought of, but can come incredibly handy. Oh god, no. And just like that, I've ruined it. I will add, I do find olives incredibly disgusting. This is taking every ounce of my willpower. We've done it. What a wonderful little event. Is, is that a swimming pool you've got? Now this I can get down with. Oh, what? So now you can swim? What did you learn to you all of a sudden? No, this is good. This is good news. Homo oh, estas. Oh, he speaks Spanish. He venido a defender la bendición del agua. And now our first official challenge begins. Welcome back, Hydration Man. A big congratulations. You don't need to congratulate me. It's all in a day's work. Are you ready to challenge the gym leader, Katie, the sugar bug? <laughs> More like sugar mama. Have you seen her? Oh my goodness. Oh, get yourself together. Can't be led into temptation. There is important work to be done here. Oh, what a lovely trainer you are. Thank you for your skillful olive rolling. It was quite impressive. It's not the only thing I can roll. It's not, it's not the only skill I have. I have, I have lots of skills. Ah, uh, right. Oh, okay. I am the only here, but this is so berry. So berry sounds disgusting. My main line of work is crafting sweets at pastry chef. Ironic considering how salty olives are. Oh Christ, the battle's about to begin. I'm ready for this. With hardcore Nuzlocke rules, it means I can't use items in battle. I also can't switch between the Pokemon either. And if Pokemon faints, it's dead. So, Groose, hope you're the top of your game today. The first thing I should do is work up. If I boost my attack, Attack stats up enough, I should be able to sweep through them. Ah, Struggle Bug! <laughs> well, I know Struggle Bug does lower stats, but only special attack, you fool. If I keep stacking up attack buffs like this. Oh, Katie, you beautiful idiot. You think you're making progress by keeping my special attack low as a water type user, but you have to know that water types are more diverse than that. We're not just special users. And we can also terrestrialize with the glorious power of water. Of course, I can't terrestrialize anything other than water types because, I mean, that just wouldn't make sense, would it? One more work up. Nice and buffed we go. You can struggle bug if you want, but I have a secret weapon available to me as well.
well, which is my massive huge berry that restores not a huge amount of health, but a decent amount. And so now I have a boosted, terrasalized boosted aqua jet with priority that blasts right in your tear, nimble and destroys it. A ball of yawn, more like a ball of yawn. And it dies in one shot as well. Nice, good job. Go on then, Casey. Whip out your baps. I mean, our bears. Well, I'm sorry, madam. You can terrasalize all you like, but it's not gonna save you. You might think your bear looks all pretty, but it won't be after I sort it out with an aqua jet. Oh, yes, good job, Groose. Well done. What a fantastic first battle. Well, that went incredibly well. Some might say too well. However, I do fear that the next gym battle won't be as easy as this one. But at the very least, Groose is evolving to face it. Oh, yo. Uh, no, every water type is beautiful in their own beautiful way. The gym badge and some deluxe handmade treats. You spoil me, Casey. Well, even a superhero must take breaks to replenish their strength. Sugar is good carbs for energy. Oh, Christ, it's pneumonia again. Hey, hey, hydration man. My Pokemon learned some cool moves. Be ready. See, by Pokemon learning some new moves, she means her lawyers are learning new ways to suppress the competition, to redirect sludge into the nearest natural water source, and to squeeze out other water companies that are just doing it for the love of the H2O. But don't worry. I won't let pneumonia and a nefarious Nestle Nader Wells do anything to the water supply in this country. I'm on my way to the next gym, and I've come across this horrible wasteland. Doesn't seem to be a drop of water as far as the eye can see. Is there any water on this? Ah, look, a nice little oasis in a sea of desolation and dust. Surely there will be a water Pokemon over there. Arvin, what do you want? Hey, Hydration Man! From what I can gather, there's Stony Cliff Titanic to lurk in this rocky area. Arvin, my friend, I don't know what to tell you, buddy, but I am here to save the country from a lack of hydration. What I am not here to do is beat up the local wildlife. So while I will not be participating in this, it's not like Arvin can could use a superhero. He's just like a school kid, right? No, the true superheroing is done over here, next to the water, where there are no Pokemon. Fantastic. I can't catch a Psyduck because of dupes claws. I need something else to spawn around here. Oh, down here! I'm a real. I'm a real. Uh, how do I? How do I fight you? No, no, no! Don't kill it! Don't, don't kill it! No! Well. That was my first encounter. I managed to misclick and murder it. All in a day's work for hydration, man. I really need something else. Maybe this terror raid. Will... Oh, that's a Chewtle. That's a water type. Chewtle is done. Nice. We can catch this. Unfortunately, it's a cringe ghost type terror type, so I can't terrasalize it, but I can still use it, which is good. Welcome to the team, Barnacle, my little friends. We'll be making good use of you, sir. I've arrived at the windmill town, and unfortunately, this is a gym of only grass use. One of my greatest nemeses, nature. Touching grass is disgusting. There's bacteria on there. I would never do it. You wouldn't touch grass? You know what that means, right? Yes. Then I'm a hero. Look at them with their natural plant life. They disgust me. Ah, melanoma is back. What a weird coincidence. I swear I'm not just sneaking ahead of you so I can lie and wait and go, oh, weird, I might as well battle you now that you're here. Now seriously, look to prove it. I won't even challenge you to a battle this time. Yes, by battle, she means a court battle, legally. And I won't fall for it, pneumonia. But I'm going to be honest, gang. I don't really feel ready to take on that gym yet. I need some more water types. And that South Province Area 2, I thought I was going to get a Surskit here. That would have been really good. You know, a bug type would been nice, but I guess we just get a freaking buizel, but it's better than nothing. Also, I see a Marrow in the background over there, and it would have been really nice to have a Marrow as well. <laughs> At this point, for the grass type gym, I'll take anything that I can get. Wait, soak. That could be good. And now I'm being challenged to Sunflora hide and seek. This is pathetic. A man of my stature should not be wasting his time on this. I could easily find all of the Sunflora, and with very little difficulty. See, here is one, and he barely even tried to hide next to a tree. What a moron. At least this sunflower is a smart one, sitting next to water. Ah, uh, you think I'd fall for your ruse? <laughs> you prive a hard bargain. That's not the saying you'd say in this situation. And just like a house of cards, the sunflower fall like dominoes. Checkmate. Okay, it's time for the battle that may lead to the death of many. Oh, you, you think you're cool being up there? Oh, jumping from a windmill, suddenly a cool superpower, being able to not break your legs? My powers are way better. The power of getting up five times in the middle of the night because you need to pee. I do like the thorns in your hair, though. I really wish that more trainers would do this. Take on aspects from the Pokemon types that they use. We need to start being more clear about which type of a trainer we are. Okay, deal. For example, I'm a water type trainer, so I'll cover myself in water. What type are you? Fire. 
Oh, I don't like this game anymore. Now, I do have a plan here. I don't know how good of a plan it is, though. The first thing we've got to do is take down this pet lil. So we got a little icy wind for that, which doesn't one-shot it. But if it uses sleep powder, which it does. Oh, I had a foresight. See, my power of foresight allows me to predict that you're going to use sleep powder and come prepared. So I tossed a chest berry on Weasel before the fight. So I knew you'd do that. Then a second icy wind takes you out. And now the small FCR I can use soak to get rid of your stab grass type moves. So Razor Leaf shouldn't do as much damage, which it doesn't. And then I came prepared with Growl. I'm gonna try and growl him down as much as I can. <laughs> There's a little bit of uh, graphical issues in the background. Don't mind that. <laughs> I could get hit with a crit at any time right now, but I need you to be like minus six attack. Okay, we survived all of the Razor Leaves. It's, it's minus six. Now I initiate phase two of my plan. Because I can't risk getting critted, I'm going to disable the Razor Leaf. And now that you can only attack all, we activate phase four, which is to use work up until wing attack will one-shot everything. But this is still risky because the last Pokemon. Okay, my trusty partner, Groose, is getting all its boosts up. It's no longer disabled. That didn't last very bloody long, did it? Okay, it's doing a little bit of damage, but not a huge amount. I feel like I can't wait any longer. We've got to wing attack. The small of goes down, but I'm really scared about that truly Wudo. If it can survive a wing attack right now, then it might be able to kill me with Trailblaze. I don't know. We'll see. I think I should be able to outspeed it because it's slow to begin with usually. And maybe I can tank like one hit. Come on, Groose. Please tell me one wing attack does it. Oh, no, it doesn't do enough damage. No. Hang on, hang on, Groose. Oh, God, you barely live that. Oh, but now it gets a speed buff. Is it going to outspeed me now? Wait, Sudowoodo, you fool. You've activated my torrent. When Groose is at low health, his water type moves get boosted even more, which means if I terrasalize and use the power of all my workups together, then even though you've turned into a grass type, the torrent of aqua should still be enough with the boost. Come on, Groose. Yes, let's go. Taking down a grass type gym leader with a water type move. Now that feels amazing. And there you have it, gym number two. Just taking a nighttime stroll over to Levensia and oh, what a beautiful sea. So much water as far as the eye can see. And oh, Jesus Christ. All right, that was a bit dangerous. But I see some water and we have ourselves a, 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 a whooper. A, oh, and magic hop and a basculin. Well, basculin is the closest one to me, even though I would prefer the, the, the magic hop, but I suppose I have to get this one then. There we go. Beautiful. Everybody say hello to my new basculin. No boy. Because that's what I have to tell my cat when he bites me. A basculin is basically the cat fishes, right? But it's a beach. There's only water types here. Hey, buddy. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Yes. Beautiful. Garrow's on the squad as well. And in the beautiful city of Lavencia, I get myself a Dreadnought. A Pokemon completely useless against the next gym. I'm going to be honest. I think we need some better items for this gym. <laughs> so I'm pretty ready. I've given my Pokemon all the items I can. Hey, how's it going? I mean, uh, madam, do you need uh, help with your dog? Is, is it okay? I'm sorting my team as best I can, but I think the hydration man conglomerate may have their first deaths here. They say streamers are some of the most unhydrated humans that exist, never taking breaks in between their victory royales to take a sip of H2O, only drinking Gamer G Gamer Fuel full of caffeine. There's no hydration there. But as luck would have it, it just starts raining just in time for the fight. That's bloody brilliant. Come on, Barnacle, you've got this. I believe in you, buddy. You've just evolved. Oh, my viewer pals. <gasps> That's disgustingly parasocial. We have to put a stop to this now. First turn, I'm going to rock polish and get plus two speed so I outspeed everything on our team. As long as I don't get paralyzed from the spark, we should... Oh, my God, we tanked that. Oh, yes. And now I can go for a rain-boosted razor shell, which may even be able to get a nice one-tap. Yes, it does. Come on, Barbaracle, you could do this. A Bella Ball, just look at how full he is. We just need to get a nice little razor shell crit. And oh, that's a two-shot, though. We defense drop. That's good. Electromorphosis is going to charge you with power. That's not good. Come oh, on, we can tank this. It's a physical move. Oh, that hurts. But it's just in range for me to pop my citrus. As long as I don't miss any razor shells here. There goes Belly Bolt. Fantastic news. All right, next up is Luxio. This is bad because I'm getting intimidated now, which is not ideal. But I can at least try a razor shell. Was that crit? That was huge damage. No, it wasn't. I saw speed barnacle. Come on, you're all right. Please finish it off. Finish it off. Finish it off. Okay. Okay, Luxio goes down. That's Good. Now here comes Miss Magius, which is going to terrestrialize into an electric type, but I still have Razor Shell. I should still outspeed it too. Okay, there's a way that Barnacle doesn't die here. Either it misses Charge Beam or I crit it with Razor Shell. Then it'll die. Come on. I need to harness my superpower of being incredibly specifically lucky in the specific situations. Okay, that's not specifically lucky enough, but we did get a defense drop. Okay, that works. Please, please miss Charge Beam. Oh, I don't think you're going to miss Charge Beam. No, Barnacle, no! 
The first death. It will not be in vain, Barnacle. Because now our boy Nobite's gonna terrasalize with the Mystic Water and get a nice Aqua Jet off, and your defense has dropped, so this has to kill. Or at least, I really, really hope it does. Come on, Nobite. Nobite. Yes! Okay, we took down Miss Magius. That's a crit. I don't think we needed it. You see, truly, water has no weaknesses. How could I look so happy when our first compatriot has died? Bolton the loser. I'm late. I'm late. Wait, citizen. I need to fight you. Oh, okay. Can I take Hofu's wallet to him? That sounds like a job for Hydration Man. Yeah, yes. I'd love to actually help someone for once. Don't worry, Kofu. Hydration Man is on his way. You'll be able to buy lots of bottled water after I'm done with you, but not Nestle. Not Nestle. But of course, before we go, Barnacle, our first death, we dedicate you to the death box. I can't believe I get to do proper hero work finally. God, it's been a while. Fear not, citizen. I have come to bring you your wallets. No need to thank me. Just donate to various water related charities like the Dolphin F Foundation or something. I don't know if that's real. Now, this is quite the city. Just look at the beautiful place. I'd quite like to retire here. And now there'll be a showdown between the two brightest minds in Paldea. Go on then, mate. It's battle time. I'll eat off with Big Muffin here. And you've got yourself filleting sushi fish. Well, I'm sorry, mate, but Crunch is super effective against... Oh, that didn't kill. I have the muscle band and everything. Why didn't that kill? It's okay. As long as you don't crit, it shouldn't do too much damage. That's fine. And we can finish you off with the second Crunch. Now now the problem starts because I really don't have anything that's super effective against just water types. It would be blasphemous if I had. It would be like eating a cow in India or a Muslim eating pork. Wog Trio might come out, but there's no W's here. Not for you at least, because I know you got Mon Slap, so I'll stay in with Muffin. Oh, that was huge damage. Is that crit? No, Gooey. Oh, I forgot about Gooey. That second crunch will finish you off. I think we need to use some tactics here. We need to switch out. So I do have Intimidate, which is good against the last Pokemon. But I need to get Muffin out first. You may say a Psyduck has no use, but I think every water Pokemon has its time. H2 boy just avoids the attack. Then I can disable slam so that you can't use it. Then you only have crab hammer and rock smash. Oh, your slam is disabled. That was a good play. Then I can cycle back into Gyarados. We can get an intimidate off. Oh god, here comes a crab hammer hold. Oh yeah, we tanked that. Nice. Let's see how much a crunch does. That's a crit. That's huge damage. And his defense falls. Oh my god, that's amazing, Muffin. Well done. I love you. Rock smash does eight damage. That's pathetic. Another crunch finishes it off. There we go. Easily done. I now legally own this entire city. It belongs to me. It's mine now. H2 boy is now H2 man. <laughs> and Groose, thank God you're not gonna look like Buddy Mandark anymore. Yeah, that's what I like to see. Oh no, I've accidentally launched my Leviathan through the middle of the city. Don't mind him, he's very nice. He's called Muffin. Ironically though, he hates muffins. Ah, an eatery you say? Well, yes, I do need a bit of a break. It's been a long day of collecting gym badges. Maybe it's lunchtime. Oh great, Pancreatus is here. I go and start a gym test and then she just rolls up. I didn't take you down just to battle you. I'm here to serve you a cease and desist. No, she wants to battle me after the gym. Fine, Jesus. Now that we've been so rudely interrupted, I'm even more hungry. Yes, I'd like some medium grilled rice balls, fire blast style with fresh lemon on the side. My favorite. Oh, I can't wait. I'm so excited for these rice balls. What is happening? Whoa, whoa, that, that, hey, whoa, wait, what's going on? Hold on, is that, is that where you put the, the rice balls? Gym test. I passed. Oh. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, of course, my secret superpower, being able to accidentally order the correct menu item that will then turn the rest of the restaurant into a battle stage for then me to battle the gym leader. It's a very specific superpower, but I'm glad I had it. Uh, hello, sir. You seem to be the common everyman. You're probably incredibly shocked that a superhero has come to hang out with you today, but yes, I will be battling you. Now, don't be alarmed if you lose very badly, common citizen. That happens a lot to people that fight me. I am hydration man, after all. You have heard of me. Right, Larry? Right? Leading off with a koala. I'm pretty sure these things are extinct, so I don't know if I should be beating them up, to be honest. Oh no, it's not bedtime. Don't yawn me. One step closer to extinction. Another day saved by Hydration Man. Well, the dunce boss is here, and I am asleep, which is not ideal. Hyper Drill can't do that much, right? Oh, I feel like, oh, that does a lot of damage. Never mind. I don't really have a switch in, though, so I don't know what to do. Come on, H2 Man. You can do this. You'll truly earn your new name if you can beat this thing. I believe in you, H2 Man. That's still did a lot of damage. Let's disable that move of it. That's quite annoying. You predicted that and glared me. How dare you? But Drill Run should do a lot less damage, which it does. Go on, eat your berry now. Don't miss Aqua Tail. Good. That's a good amount of damage. Just a few more hits like this. Come on, mate. Oh, did we get a crit there? That was huge. Well done, H2 Man. You have truly earned that name. But now I've got to switch you out. I need to get an Intimidate off against a Star Raptor. It's going to hit way too hard. Uh, crowd seems to be forming. Stand back, citizens. It must be a crowd of my roaring fans. Oh, no, they're, they're Larry. They're Larry's fans. Okay, no, 
Never mind. All right, Sarata, be gentle with me, please. No, Muffin got critted. Are you serious? How could you? That is so messed up. Groos, you're going to have to step in. Aqua step in, that is, of course. Oh, it doesn't have to two shot, but we do get a speed buff from this. It's over, Sarata. I'll see you later. Give me that diamond on your head. Oh, it's destroyed. All right, well, I'll settle for a gym badge then. And some perfectly cooked rice. I finally got my grilled rice balls. Yes. Do we really have to fight now, Neuroblastoma? All right, Lifoma. But remember, you asked for this to happen, okay? I didn't want to. I can't be held liable if your Pokemon are dead by the end of this. And what did you bloody think was going to happen? Christ, I'm in the middle of mourning, you absolute monts. The way you're going, I better watch my back. Yeah, your cease and desist don't scare me. You're going to become a champion. No doubt about it, hydration man. No, no, your honey-suckled words, they can't whisper me in. I'm not taking a sponsorship from Nestle. I'd never do that. First, a moment of silence for Muffin. He never truly became the Muffin Man. Probably because it's a female Gyarados, but and now H2 Boy has been reborn as H2 Man. He was also a female Golduck, but that doesn't matter, does it? Now I need more team members. I'm afraid that four isn't going to cut it. I'm going to have to explore the wettest places I can find. The Casa Royal Lake. The rivers of the Frozen Mountain. A room full of women when Henry Cavill walks in. No stone will be left unturned. My, my, what a beautiful lake. Would be a shame if I were to jump into it and see a slowpoke. A slowpoke? That's what I see first? I was hoping for something a bit more new. But all right, I'll take a slowpoke. I've called him Turbro because he's going to put us on the fast track to justice. And also, he's level 51, so I'm not even allowed to use him until the Elite Four anyway. Hopefully, the mountains will bring me something I can actually use. Whee! This is... Uh, I don't know if I'm having fun. Am I drowning right now? I think so. Oh, Goldock. Hi, buddy. How you doing? All right, first water type in here is... Wait, is that... <gasps> That's a special Terra Venezuela. It's normal. I can't use this. Well, I mean, I can use it, but I can't tear it. Yeah, get rid of that bloody crystal. So we don't want that. Well, I can catch it. Unfortunately, our new friend Columbia is also level 49, a level I'm not allowed to use. Yes, because of the level caps. You'd think as hydration, man, I'd like the ice, but ice and snow is simply water, but tainted and terraformed, changed in a way that it was never meant to be. So no, I despise the ice more than anyone. Who are you? I don't care. Goodbye, Jack. Hey, Rhyme, do, do, do you want to fight? I know you're a bit busy, but you can't rap with a parched throat. Let me give me some H2O. All right, now it's rhyme time. Oh, I get it, because because rhyme is like rhyming. Like, if I saw a cat and I hit it with a bat, I would never do that. Anyway, first turn, I'm going to double into that bayonet right there, which ooh, almost dies in one shot, but we can finish off with a hydro pump. Just kidding, I missed. Oh, I'm getting boosts from the crowd. What? Well, I mean, don't mind if I do. Citizens, thank you. It must be my many adoring fans. No, no, your love is well placed. I'll use it to defeat this ghost type goblin. Okay, I need to strategically time my next move. Both Pokemon need to go down before the Toxtricity comes in because it has Discharge. And I misclicked on Mimikyu, so I probably won't be able to do that now, will I? Well done, Daniel. Oh, well, at least the Mimikyu's dead, right? The Houndstone won't kill my no bite, would he? No bite, Houndstone, no bite. Oh, he used Phantom Force, which means he's definitely gonna move last. Oh, I just got a nice little speed buff. Thank you. But that also means Houndstone is definitely gonna kill something, so I need to focus down the Toxtricity so that it dies before it can kill me, maybe? I don't know. This is looking pretty bad. This is my favorite part of the game. I love him. I love him. I love him. No, no, no. I love him. I love him. He's still in the background. I love him so much. I love him so much. Okay, so he terrestrializes into a ghost type, which means I should be able to kill it this turn before the Houndstone comes in. I don't have any defense buffs, so my Basculin might die here. Please tell me I move first. No boy, it goes first with the crunch. Yes, Toxtricity goes down. That was a massive threat. I did not need you discharging on me. I've been the victim of many discharges in the past. Some more disgusting than others. Now, Houndstone, just don't attack no boy. Oh, you want to have to go? Goldock, yes! So we can finish this off with a double whammy of no bite and hurt. Yes, fantastic. Houndstone goes down. Six gym badges mine. Thank you very much. Why am I in the crowd? Now, while I would absolutely love to stay in this icy mountain, if Hydration Man stays in an icy area for too long, he starts to get a little bit chilly, turned to icicles. So we got to get out here. And I see some marshy waters in the shape of a smiley face with a mustache here. Ah, oh, yes, a beautiful water and so carrot trail. And why are there so many fortresses here? This doesn't make any sense. Get out of the water. You don't belong here. Ah, finally a water type, but wait a minute. You have feet. You walk on dry land now? I don't understand. Why would you do this to yourself? So you're telling me there's all this water around here, and the only Pokemon that's even close to being a water type forgoed their water type. They gave up on it. Oh, this is more disappointing than my third birthday pie, and my fifth birthday pie, and my seventh birthday pie, and my twelfth 
21st birthday party, and my 15th birthday party, and my 17th birthday party, and my 22nd. Oh no, wait, that one was good. Damn it, hypothermia, what do you want? Shocking no one? Melanoma dies easily. That's what happens when you have the dark heart of a corporate lawyer. There's no joy, there's no happiness within that soul. Hello, fair lady, I am a, oh, okay. I am hydration man. I, I, I'm, I'm here to fight, fight you. Why does this always happen with women? Fried giraffe versus crunch, who wins? That's a nice easy two shot. Oh, that's a crit, we got a bit lucky there. Come on, tank this end head bot. Oh, that hurts. But a second one takes you out nice and easy, good start. Next you have God of War, which is a little bit more resistant to crunch, but I can waterfall and oh, here we go. Can I get a flinch? That'd be really nice. Oh, we do get a flinch, that's so good. And God of War immediately goes down, which is a little bit of a shame because I don't get to show off my cool strategies now, because I let no boy hold a window berry just in case the God of War hit me with an energy ball. Hello, Espathra. I mean, this is probably not gonna be too big of an issue, I imagine. We just eat the flamingos. No, the ostriches. No boy, tank that hit. Oh, that hurts. It's getting a little bit close for comfort here, I'm not gonna lie. And now we have a Floragus, which I definitely cannot one-shot. No one on my team can tank a move. There's only one thing I can hope for, and that's another waterfall flinch. If we get it, then we can win. No casualties, no bites. Looks like no bite was bitten. But after that brave and valiant sacrifice of no bite, we can terrestrialize. And then Super Trooper can use liquidation, which is gonna take it out. I'm so sad we just lost no bite like that. He's biting toes in heaven now. And that makes seven. You know, I thought I'd never be able to replace no bite on the team, but it has been a whole 30 seconds and the sea is right here, so I might as well. Oh God, this is longer than I thought it'd be. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm completely fine. Is that a Skrull? That's a water type, but it evolves into a non-water type. I'm sad. Damn you, Skrelp and your type changes. And now there's only one badge left. We have to go back to the mountains. Don't worry, you two. I just need one more gym badge and then I can add you to the team. Damn it, not you again. I'm super so worried about you. I know you got this. Thank you, I know. But you, you should be right because I'm gonna like foil your plans and all that. God, I hate lawyers. Now, you might think that grass types are my least favorite. Electric types because they do so much damage to water, but no, it's the ice types. Something that's taken the characteristics of water and warped it so disgustingly. Something that was so close to greatness, but then chose to be completely different. The rejection of liquid, the imprisonment of H2O. Now that, that's a true enemy for hydration, man. So for this battle, I will truly show no mercy. A couple of swords dances to start things off. Oh, what's that frost moth? You can't land a blizzard? Oh, how sad. There's an aqua step for you, mate. And now I'm too fast and strong to be taken down by anything. Yeah, this is what you get. You're getting absolutely what you deserve, mate. The tailwind's gone. So Titan's gonna come in and get one shot in. <laughs> or maybe I'll terrestrialize and use water type moves to take you out. You know, show you what you're missing. If you were just a bit warmer, you could have this too. Goodbye, Sir Titan. And another aqua step for Altaria as well. Bye-bye. That's what you get for rejecting your true nature. And that's every gym badge we need. The people of this region only listen to the top champion. Speaking of, there she is. Most impressive hydration man. A shining display of talent, I must admit. Yeah, I'm coming for you next. Catch me in the Elite Four. I'm gonna kill you. And now I can finally add to her Bro and Columbia to the team as well. But we still have one space on the team open, which I think we should fix by going to the beach. Finally time for the Hydration Man beach episode. The hell is this? Oh, it's a Wug Trio. Well, I mean, we might as well. It's new. I'm finally ready for the final battle. We've been training for centuries. So long, in fact, that I got a fresh trim. But now, just like the prophecy foretold, once Hydration Man gets a trim, the Elite Four challenge will begin. Unfortunately, Rika seems to be a ground type user, which is a bit awkward when you go up against a man made of liquids. So we do a little terrestrializing. And I think that Groose should be able to destroy this team very easily. Oh, yes. Get out of here, Don Fan. Oh, he's got sturdy. Oh, damn. Okay, that's damage. Well, I did come prepared. I got all the items that I would need, including some leftovers to keep Groose nice and healthy. Oh, we're gonna terrestrialize the Claude Sire, are we? Yeah, no, I'm sure that'll be very helpful. It's really gonna bring it back for you, that Claude Sire. Just give it a few turns and oh, protect him as well. Scared, are we? Oh, it has water absorb. Wait, oh no. Okay, never mind. I didn't actually know it had that. Probably would have been a better idea to send that out before, but all right. I've still got a little close combat action, so I'm afraid Claude Sire is still gonna die pretty easily. And Rika, no surprise to anyone, was no challenge. But Poppy is where it gets a little bit more difficult, you see. Cause she's a steel type user and that's a bit bad for her because I resist steel type moves, but she has a Magnazone, which has sturdy, which can survive any one hit that I can launch at it. Now I have a plan, but my plan to kill Magnazone is really resting on my ability to one-shot this Copperaja right now. So I gave Groose an expert belt, which will boost the power of super effective moves. It is super effective, it is stab. So 
I just really need Groose to just take this thing out immediately. Come on. Yes. Okay. That's huge. That's really, really good because Copperaja has stealth rocks. And if stealth rocks go up, then that's very bad. Unfortunately, Corviknight comes in, which is also very bad. But I have my boy Turbro here who can tank those Brave Birds so nicely. We have a little slack off. We have a little leftover. So I shouldn't die to this. Hey, mate, you can iron defense all you like. That is fine with me. And after a couple serves, it dies. And now in comes the Magma Zone. Now, the reason I needed Stealth Rocks to stay off the field is because I have Columbia here, which I need to switch into right now. It's holding a Focus Sash so it can live any one hit no matter what. Oh, you set up a light screen. Okay, that's fine. Because Columbia has Mold Breaker, which ignores the Sturdy that would keep Magna Zone alive after I do a little drill running, which means it dies in one hit. Oh, don't you love when a plan comes together? And since you're bringing out a bronze song and I have Mold Breaker, I can continue to drill run you because it ignores the levitate as well. So you go down to a couple drill runs. Oh, and Tigerton comes out with a player up, but that's fine. We've got a couple drill runs coming out at you as well. Come on, just tank it. Tank the Gigaton Hammer. You should be able to, no bother. Oh, that still does a lot of damage, to be fair. But another drill run takes out Tigerton. And Penny is done. We're halfway through the Elite Ball. We've not lost anyone yet. The Hydration Crew is doing pretty well so far. And then we got my bestie, Larry. Hello, man. How are you doing? And Larry uses flying types, which is perfect because I have plenty of ice type moves and H2 man here. So I think a couple ice beams will dismantle this team up until the point where it doesn't at least. Come on, keep going. Yeah, get those ice beams. Oh my God, yes. That's a crit. Well done, H2 man. He's bloody destroying them, isn't he? Look at that. It's just no Kori Kori. Oh, it's fine. We'll be all right. Jeez. Oh no, it didn't die. It didn't die. Revelation dance. We can tank that. That's fine, right? Oh, that did a lot of damage. That did so much damage. Yeah, I've got enough left over. But still, that was a bit scary. Gonna play it safe and use Aqua Jet just to finish you off in case. But now things get a little problematic with Flamigo out, so I'm gonna go into Turbo. Oh, of course you'd bloody terrasalize him. Of bloody course you would. Terra flying. Oh, that's gonna hurt, isn't it? Oh god, he's gonna have Brave Bud as well. Okay, Turbro, brace for impact. Here it comes. Oh, that does so much. He gets a lot of hurt and recoil though. Can I survive another one? I don't think I can. Okay, I've got a plan, but it's a long shot. Turbro can't take another one of those, but Columbia still has the focus set. If we get hit with another Brave Bird now, then it should do enough recoil damage to itself. Come on, tank it. Okay, we have the Focus Sash. That does a lot of recoil damage to where I'm just kind of hoping that Liquidation can kill it. No, he outspeeds me. I didn't think he outspeed me. No, Columbia, no. So Columbia's just died. That's that's not good. Which means I just hope that Super Trooper can outspeed it. Oh, I didn't even check the speeds. Super Trooper is faster than Columbia. 174 to 140. Why is Columbia so slow? Okay, Liquidation, please be doing... Oh, no, it didn't do enough. Off, no! Just tank one hit, Super Trooper, please. Just tank one hit and we win this. Oh my god, he left on 26 health points! That was so close! All right, not the best way to beat Larry, but we did it. All right, Hassel, time for the last Elite Four member. He's got a full dragon team, so my hope is that I can just spam ice type moves again. I tell you what, H2 Man has been absolutely wonderful so far. Oh, that's a super fang. That's going to hurt a lot. I do have leftovers, but that's still really annoying, especially with a Dragalgi that has Thunderbolt coming out. Hello. Yeah, not a great idea by me not having a ground type on my team. I've decided that Turbo is going to take this. Come on, tank it. Tank it with the T-Ball. Tank the T-Ball. Oh, just. Now I can stall him a wee bit with my slack off here. Yeah. I can keep getting my health back, so even if I get critted, I shouldn't die. But I'm in a bit of a sticky situation now, because I can get paralyzed or critted at any time, and I only have five slack offs. No, there's the paralysis. No, I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. I've basically got a kick off right now. If I'm going to kill this thing, I need to attack. We use psychic. We don't get paralyzed. Thank you. Psychic does. Oh, just not enough. Going to slack off one more time. Please don't get paralyzed. Thank you. Now I just need to get lucky one more turn, please. No! Okay, that's bad. I need to somehow tank a hit right now. Please tell me you tank. Please tell me you tank. Turbo lives on 11. Don't get paralyzed. Yes! Okay! Ah, oh, Dragalgi goes down. Fantastic. Now there's a bloody Haxorus here, which is, you know, fine. No problems here. Please don't lower my defense. Thank you. I can at least Ice Bang for a flinch or a freeze. Nope, didn't get either. Oh, we live on two! Please don't miss. Please don't miss. Haxorus goes down to another Ice Bang. Jesus Christ. And then Hassel sends out a Flapple. The Super Trooper has two health points, but if I outspeed and I can Ice Bang, then I should be able to kill it. Oh, Please tell me this kills. Yes, it does one shot on two health points. We were just knocking out Pokemon left and right. And of course, here comes the big boy back, Scalabra, who's gonna Terrasalize. And I only have one choice. I know he's gonna go for Glaive Rush, but as long as I survive one hit, I should be able to win. Please. Gross. 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 You came this far. Don't die now. Oh, 34 points of health. Now, after Glaive Rush is used, 
The next move by the opponent does double damage and cannot miss, which means our close combat. One shot, Max Caliber. Oh my god, that was so scary. That's probably the scariest Elite Four match I have ever done. But we did it. Now there's only the champion left to go. No, Gita. Welcome you. Welcome to the beating of a lifetime anyway. Oh, I'm ready. It's Pathra versus Turbro. Oh, we're gonna tank a Dazzling Gleam nice and easy. Thank you very much for that tasty, delicious damage. How's that Shadow Ball though? All right, that's a two shot. That's good. Now, Espathra, be an absolute deer and don't set up a reflect before I kill you. You can just go for another Dazzling Gleam. That's perfect. Thank you, lovely. That's a good girl. Now, get out of here. Thank you. Cheers. See you later. Sending out King Gambit second is a bit weird. Oh, you're a dog type. I forgot about that. <laughs> well, you know what? I think it's time we gave our boy my favorite Wug Trio shot. Come on, you've been in the wings this whole time and you did that much? It oh my god. All right, well, that's not necessarily what I was hoping would happen, but I've got to dig here, <laughs> which will hopefully do enough damage to... Oh, Christ. Please, Wug Trio, live this hit. No! What a damn shame. Now, I do wonder. I am a bit curious. Can Gru Swords Dance on this now? If I Terrasalize, then I'm not going to be weak to Zen Edbutt. And I've got leftovers to heal me every turn as well. So let's see how much this does. More oh, that's not a huge amount. In fact, Roos, you may be able to redeem the two deaths so far today if we just do one more sword stance that might be able to sweep. Oh, this is going to hurt, though. Oh, thank you, Gruus. But, Gruus, I think if I'm right, you should have enough power to be able to kill everything now. You have Terrasalization. You have plus four attacks. Surely that's got to be enough. You've got speed boss now. Okay, there's a Gogo. That's a bit scary. But I've got close combat, so that should be able to knock out the Gogo. Perfect. There's one Pokemon I'm very scared of, though. Especially with my defense getting dropped. The more leftovers turns I get before it comes out, the better. Avalog, that's perfect. I think, is that perfect? That might be. I should be able to kill this with Aqua Step. I'm going to be really embarrassed if I can't, though. No, I can't, though. Oh my god, it has body press. No, Gruus! Oh my god, I was mistaken. I was completely and utterly mistaken. Come on, Super Trooper. We just lost Gruus, but we're still in the fight. Avalog dies. Venezuela comes in, but I have Crunch. Come on. Oh, it doesn't quite kill. But two of them definitely does, which means all that's left is Glamora to become a champion. And I'm going to be honest, I don't think I can take a Terra Blast from this. So please just knock out one shot. No, we didn't knock out one shot. But maybe you can live a sludge wave, potentially Super Trooper. No, we got critted. My dreams of hydration are falling before me. H2 man, you're our final hope. And with one Aqua Jet, Glamora goes down and we become champion. Finally, I am the superhero that everyone wanted, everyone deserves. I can spread the message of H2O and hydration across the region with my newfound strength and power and fame. And only two of our Pokemon were left to survive to see it. But there's one creature that I have yet to destroy. Hypothermia. Yeah, we're both champions now. We're both on the equal level. With only two team members left, we have to take down our biggest challenge. I'm ready for the battle. I still believe that hope can beat Nestle and capitalism. It may be silly for me to hold this hope in my heart with just H2 Man and Turbo left. But by God, I'm still gonna try my best. Come on, H2 Man. He sets up Stealth Rocks. Okay, that's that's not too bad. That's okay. And we land a Terra Hydro Pump, which kills the Lycan Rock. Oh no, Pormo has double shock. Please tell me H2 Man can live it. Oh, barely lives it. Jesus Christ. No, just don't miss the Hydro Pump. Oh my God, we didn't miss the Hydro Pump. Are we actually going to do this? Are we going to win with two Mons left? Next up is the Dunsparce. There's no way I can one-shot this thing, right? Maybe with the power of Terra, we can do it. Oh my God, we got a crit. H2 Man is going insane right now. I'm starting to feel the hope course through me. We haven't missed a Hydro Pump yet. I think we're getting really lucky on this. There's a chance that we can actually one-shot all of a Pokemon. She only has two left. It's just Gudra and Skeledurge, which I know I can kill a Skeledurge. I just need to kill Gudra with ice beams. So if we can get a freeze right now, right here, it doesn't do enough damage. We don't get the freeze. Oh, we're going to have to tank a Dragon Pulse. Come on, H2 Man. You can do this. No, H2 Man. Oh, I knew it was too good to be true. We have one team member left. But if there's any team member for this situation, it's bloody this one. Come on, Turbo. Tank those hits. We have Slack Off. We have Ice Beam. We can do this. I need to Slack Off Soma as much health as possible for this final Pokemon. Pokemon, it's a ghost type. There's only one way we can win, and that's if we tank a Shadow Ball and can somehow kill it with Surf. This is it. The last Pokemon. It all comes down to this last move, Turbro. I believe in you. Godspeed. Here it comes. Brace, Turbro. Brace. We live on 18 points. We can do this. Turbro, finish this now. Finish it with a Surf. No! We got so far. Oh, that's so unfortunate. You tried your best, Turbro. I guess in the end, in the battle between superheroes and capitalism, capitalism will win. But still, I technically became champion, so I technically won. Subscribe to the channel.